fish, fish. Another one in the basket. and welcome back to my channel so before I do anything let me just first apologize for being gone for ever um, I had a lot going on in my life um, I had to move like really fast out of nowhere um, I didn't have Wi-Fi for a month so I wouldn't be able to record and upload and things like that um, not that that's an excuse I could have found a way but honestly I just had so much going on in my life with the holidays and school and work and all that jazz, moving and everything, friends, don't even get me started. So basically I've had a very hectic past month or two, um, so I haven't been able to post as much, but I am back and I am ready to post all the time again and hopefully more than I was even posting before and bring you guys the best videos that I possibly can and to make what little people that I have following me happy because that's all I really want to do. So yes, today I will be doing my... BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of January 2018. Happy New Year's, by the way. What are you guys' New Year's resolutions this year? I personally, I don't want to say I don't believe in New Year's resolutions, but me personally, I never follow them or stick to them, so I feel like it's kind of pointless for me to make them. Um, I mean, my New Year's resolution would probably be to lose weight, but go to the gym, eat healthier, you know, things like that. But isn't that everyone's New Year's resolution? I mean, come on. Seriously. I know. So the first thing I have in the box this month is from Dr. Brandt. It's the Pores No More Luminizing Primer, and I'm really excited for this. Um, I'm pretty excited for this multiple reasons. One, I've heard really good things about it. Um, I like that it is tinted. I like primers that are tinted like that. Um, I don't know why. It's just... It's just the thing that I have. Um, and the really cool thing about this is I've actually been eyeing up this primer and thinking about getting it. So it's really cool that we get it in the box. And this primer real, real this primer retails for $38. And it says the primer delivers a natural radiant glow while blurring pores and imperfections for a beautifully illuminated flawless complexion. So I will be putting that to the test right now. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my hand. I put a lot. I've heard that this gives kind of like a weird gold sheen to your face. So I hope that doesn't happen. I'm just going to put some of this on everywhere. Oh, I put a lot. Ooh, this, it has a scent. It smells like, oh, I can't put my finger on it. It's going to drive me insane. It smells like something. I'll figure it out, but I can't figure it out right now. But it definitely smells like something. It smells, oh, it, it smells expensive for sure. But it has like a scent that I know. But I can't think of it right now for the life of me. So I just finished putting the primer on. I can definitely tell that it left my face with like a dewy finish. You can especially tell on my nose. Um, in person, it does look really luminizing so I feel like this could be one of those primers where you could just apply it if you're not putting a lot of foundation on just to give your face like that healthy glow I really like it gonna be using my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation and I'm in the shade 1.0 just gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand and yeah so guys just to update you on my work situation and my life situation. I am still working for Sephora as of now. Um, it's kind of hard for them to give me as many days as I'd like to because of my availability. I go to school Wednesday through Saturday, so it's kind of hard for me to work on those days. So the only days that I'm really available is on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, which really aren't busy days, so they don't give many hours out on those days. But the days that I do work, I love it. It's so fun and it's such a rewarding job to make other people feel good. I can't tell you how many people have come in and they just tell me the sweetest things about how much I've helped them and things like that. And for those of you who don't know, I don't even think I've ever said this. Um, I'm a color specialist. I might have mentioned this in my um, Sephora and Ulta video. Um, I'm a color specialist, which means that I help people find their foundations. I do that little color IQ thing with that snazzy little machine that people are always afraid of and I do stuff like that 
I do little mini makeovers and stuff like that. And it's honestly the greatest job in the world. I love being around makeup all day. I love everyone who I work with for the most part. There's no one that I really dislike. There's just some people who haven't been like open to speaking, should I say? Like they're not the most approachable people in the world, but they're not mean or anything. Um, a lot of the Sephora employees are just way more intimidating to look at than what they really are, I find. And I feel that way even working there. Sephora employees are intimidating. Like, it's okay if you go into Sephora and you're like, oh my god, I really need help, but do I really want to ask an employee? Because you're terrified? It's okay. I get you. It's scary. But I promise no one in there bites. No one in there will hurt you. But it's a really good job and I hope that I can continue to work there and grow with the company and things like that. So from what I'm seeing, um, this could be me being crazy, but I feel like this primer made my foundation have not as much coverage as it usually does. Now again, like I said, this could be me being crazy because this doesn't sound like anything that I've ever heard of, but see like right here, you can still see my redness coming through. And normally I don't have a problem with that with this foundation. Um, I also feel like the primer kind of made it sink into my smile lines a little more than it usually does. Um, this foundation and all foundations always sink into my smile lines no matter how much primer, hydrating, all that stuff, no matter how much I do of it, it just, it, it just, it is what it is. But I feel like for some reason it's sitting a little bit more than usual, but it's not a bad primer. I don't hate the way my face looks. Mm, I'm going to give it another try because I really like how it smells. I really like Dr. Brandt and I like the luminous glow that it gave me. But yeah, we're gonna give it another go later and we'll see how it is. And also, I don't know if I told everyone, it retails for $38. So the next thing in the box is the It Cosmetics, the Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. And I'm excited for this. Um, I love It Cosmetics. All their stuff that I have from them is really good. Everything I've ever tried from them is really good. And from my understanding, this eyebrow pencil works for every color um, eyebrows. The less pressure you put, the lighter it will be. The more pressure you'll put, the darker it will be. So obviously, I'm going to need a little bit more pressure because I got some dark brows. But I'm going to give this a go and see how it goes. And it does have more of like a thick tip. Oh, my God. It does have more of a thick tip versus some that have a more fine point, like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is more close to like a brow definer, but I don't mind tips like this, so I'm going to give it a go and see how it is. Um, I feel like this is definitely too light for my brows. No matter how much pressure I put, it has like a brown cast to it. And my eyebrows are just so far from brown. They're more black. It just, it's not working for me. I'm going to keep trying to see if I can get it to work. But, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I just, it's not my favorite. But let me finish off my brows and then I'll let you know my final thoughts. Come on. Seriously. I wish you could see what I'm seeing right now. The color on camera is so different than it is in person. First of all, just let me tell you. In person, I swear, it's like my brows are like the darkest brown. And then like there's like this weird caramel color to fill in my brows. Um, I don't <laughs> like it. Uh... I love the formula. I think it's great. I don't like the tip. I feel like it was really hard for me to get a good shape. Um, the color is not for me. Even I did it the darkest that it could possibly go. I did it in the same spot like 10 times. I tried to get it the best that it could get. And I find whenever I like buffed it out with the spoolie, it left like a weird, like a brown cast right here. Do you ever feel like sometimes whenever you use a brow pencil or like just any brow product in general, it leaves like a weird like brown cast up there or something. Like I could be crazy, but I feel like that a lot. Like I feel like I can see the residue of it, even though there's nothing there and I've literally wiped away and concealed and done all these things. I feel like I still see like this weird brown cast. Like it's, like it's smudged, but it's not smudged in a good way. I just, 
I don't care for this brow pencil. If the color was different, maybe it would be different. Um, I don't think this is a universal brow because it does not suit everyone. I like a really natural brow. I don't like harsh brows. I have the hiccups, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't like harsh brows. And I feel like in order for me to make this work, I'd have to do a really harsh brow and it would still come out looking strange. Like on camera, it just looks blotchy. But like in person, it looks completely filled in. It's just the color is lighter. So it's making it look splotchy on camera. Like I can't explain it. I'm upset. I really wanted to like this. This is the one thing that I will not be trying on, but I will do swatches of everything. We did get an eyeshadow palette this month, and the reason I won't be trying it on is because I already have eye things on, as you can tell. Um, I did some things earlier today. I went to school, things like that, and I just had no motivation to take my eyeshadow completely off and put new eyeshadow on, to be honest with you. And also, I'll give you my thoughts on the palette after. Anyways, it's called the Glam Metals Palette. It's by Crown um, brushes and what I find interesting about I hate these little I find really interesting about this palette is that the mirror is a guitar which I think is a unique idea but I feel like I could never do my makeup in this mirror it's so uneven it kind of makes me dizzy like it cuts off my face <laughs> I don't like the mirror cute idea bad bad execution bad execution um but i will swatch all these colors they are all shimmers besides this one right here which is a matte the rest of them are shimmers um they're definitely like more of eyeshadow toppers i don't think you could really get a full look out of this palette this is more of a palette that you'd have to use with another palette if you had an all matte palette or just any palette i did have to go over the swatches like twice on some of them to get the pigmentation up like this one right here um this is the first one in the palette the pigmentation was not there the first time i had to go in twice this one I also had to go in twice, this one as well. Um, so I have a few issues with the palette. It's not a bad palette by any means at all. Um, I just find that some of the colors are a little similar and repetitive. I find that these colors are all super similar, like you didn't need to put all of them in the palette. I just feel like some of the colors just weren't there for me. Um, I don't think it's a bad palette by any means, like I said. Um, I probably will use it and give it a try. Maybe I'll do a video and I'll use it in the video or something like that. Um, so let me point out something else that I think about this palette. Let me introduce you guys to this palette. You probably already know about it, but let me introduce you again. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Palette. Now, I feel like most of these colors inside of this palette are in this palette right here. I feel like if you have this palette, you don't need this palette. And that's kind of the issue that I have. I feel like I am never going to use any of these colors because of the fact that most of these colors are the same exact colors that are in here. I'm going to do swatches, comparisons, and I'm going to show you that literally the colors are almost the same. So for all of these, this one on this side is going to be the Glam Metals palette. And this one on this side is gonna be the Urban Decay palette. Um, now, I will say with this one, this one is a little bit more gold, this is a little more green, a little more fire, like yellow, this is a little more dark, same thing here, this has a little bit more of like a purple in it, this is just like a solid blue, um, this one is a little more red, this is a little more brown, but I just feel like these colors are a little bit too close um, for comfort for me. Um, like I said, I will try out the Glam Metals palette because I really do like how they feel. They feel really soft and like creamy. Um, but I just feel like if you have the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette, you won't ever really get use out of the Glam Metals palette. Um, and the Urban Decay palette doesn't have the shade names on it. So I can't specify which shades were closest to which shades, but I will leave all the information for it in descriptions. I'll just say like um, the first one in this row like for instance this one right here was this one so I'll just leave all that in the description below and I'll have it matched up with the shade names from the glam metals palette and I will let you guys if you have the palette at home or anything like that you can go home do your own research do your own thing just for me personally I feel like it was super similar getting back to the box um, and by the way guys this crown metals palette retails for $25 this next one is the one I'm excited for.
Um, it is from Pure Cosmetics, and let me just tell you, I love Pure Cosmetics. I feel like they are so underrated. They're an affordable brand. Um, I just love everything about them. Shout out to you, Pure. Love ya. Um, so what we have in the box is the Complexion Authority Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette. It's a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer, and they are all shimmery. Obviously, the highlight is shimmery. Um, I did swatch it a little bit, so ignore that right there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that was on my face. It was some kind of makeup. Okay, so I did swatch the highlight already, and let me just tell you, girl. Mm-hmm. But it does have a shimmery bronzer and a shimmery blush, and I like shimmery blushes. Shimmery bronzers, it has to be kind of a no makeup makeup day for me. Sometimes I'll just put on a little bit of concealer, throw a shimmery bronzer on, and that'll be it for my face makeup, and I love doing that. So I'm hoping that I like this one, because if I do like it, then that'll be a good thing. But I am going to try all three of these things on my face. So here we go. This is the bronzer brush that I usually use. Okay. So what I'm noticing right off the bat is that it is a wee bit muddy at first, but I kind of like how it looks. So for me, I feel like if I was to wear this, I probably wouldn't wear a lot of blush if I wore any blush at all. It kind of has like a pink tint to it, even though it's a bronzer. It could be crazy. It's not showing as much on camera as it is in person, but I like it. I like it. So I went ahead and finished my face off with the bronzer, and I really like it actually. Um, I'm gonna keep trying this out. Um, I've been on the hunt for a new really good bronzer, and I really like this one, but let me tell you guys, she is pigmented. Go in with a light hand, because you can end up orange real fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that blush on. I have a feeling the blush is gonna be pigmented as well, so I'm not gonna use that much. It's gonna. Oh, I was wrong. The blush isn't that pigmented, which I like. Okay, nope. Blush was pigmented. <laughs> I look so crazy. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I look crazy whenever I put on bronzer and blush and stuff. I'm just going to try to blend this all together. Okay, I'm going to go in with not that much of this. Oh, oh no, I'm shedding, what a surprise. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna go in with a lot of it. Fuck it, right? Okay. Ooh, this weight. Guys, this is so pretty. The camera just literally does not do it justice. I swear this is so pretty, guys. Okay, so let me just tell you something right now about highlighters for me. First off, let me just say, I usually do not like gold highlights because of how tan, I mean, because of how pale I am, first off. Second off, I'm not like a very, like, ooh, I need highlighter person. Like, I put highlighter on and I get excited when one is pigmented, but there's not a lot of the time when a highlighter can really make me get hype. When I had to put the flash on my phone so you can really see the highlight, like, this is literally incredible. I'm sorry, my phone's covering the camera, but it's literally incredible. It looks so natural on the skin, and I find that with a lot of highlighters, they look kind of like, like you can tell that it's there. Not necessarily that it looks like a stripe or anything, but you can just tell it's there. But with this one, I feel like it just looks so natural. I love it. <laughs> this is what I meant, guys. The brands like Pure Cosmetics, things like that, that aren't so hyped up, and there's nothing against brands that are hyped up because I love all my brands of Sephora and things like that, but it's these smaller brands that are on the come up. I feel like most of the, not most of the time, I shouldn't say. I feel like a lot of the time, their products are just really good and underrated. I really like underrated things. I've never been the kind of person who was really into like whatever the big trend is. Like when Justin Bieber was the big thing, I was never into just like, I mean, I like Justin Bieber, but he's okay. But I was never into it. I've just always been the person who liked things that were just, I don't know. I've always been the person who roots for the underdog. And I'm not saying by any means that Pure Cosmetics is an underdog brand. They're just not as well known as say like Too Faced or Tarte or 
Urban Decay or things like that, but they just produce such great products. One of their palettes is my go-to palette like of all time and I love it. And this just goes to show again that just, I love you, Pure. Sorry for this little rant, it literally was pointless. Look who's here. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, oh. <laughs> he don't like me. Just kidding. This is mommy's baby. This is Atlas. You guys have not met him yet. I have two kitties. He is one of the babies. Oh, the baby. He's new. We just got him for Christmas. Um, and by the way, guys, that palette retails for $34, which really isn't a bad deal when you think about it. And for the last thing in the box is the Galactic lip paint that I also can't find. I just found it. The Galactic lip paint. Um, I've heard really great things about these Galactic lip paints. I know Kathleen Light Slayers. Kathleen Lights swears by these. Um, ooh, they have a scent. They have a scent. They kind of, they smell like the Kylie lipsticks, but with more chemicals in them. Like it smells like a vanilla cupcake, but more chemically. Yeah. So anyways, these retail, I'm, I'm, no, I'm just gonna give up on talking. These retail for $23, and I'm going to try it out and see what I think. <laughs> Literally suck at putting on liquid lipstick. All right, so this is what the lipstick looks like. Um, I really like the formula of it. <laughs> so mad. I'm so bad at putting on liquid lipstick. Um, it dries very fast. It's a, it's kind of like a whipped, creamy um, texture. It's very, very um, liquidy and very messy to work with. Um, you got to know what you're going in with before you just go for it. I went, I just went in for it and I completely screwed it up and then my cat hit me and it was a mess and it went everywhere. But I like the color a lot. Um, I don't think it's making my lips look too drying at all in any way. Um, yeah, I really like it. People, we have reached the end of another unboxing video. I hope to do many more with you. Um, I'm sorry this video was so weird. I'm kind of like out of it. Um, not just because I haven't filmed in a long time. I've just been going through stuff, you know, life things. Um, my house is a little bit still under construction, so it's kind of hard for me to find a place to film at. So if you see this weird area right here, it's because I took a rug that we own and I put it in front of my dresser and made it look like it was a backdrop, even though it's not. And also, my hair is a mess because I've just been at school while and out and doing all kinds of crazy things all day. And my hair is crazy. And I just, I feel like with videos, not just unboxing videos or makeup videos in particular, um, I'm just not the kind of like glitz and glam person. I'm kind of a more of like a keep it real, relaxed, cool calm and collected kind of person um i just feel like i'd rather sit here and be real with you guys and just be myself and who i really am and this is who i am my hair is a mess 87 percent of the time i have a bootleg background um but i love makeup um filming youtube videos for me is just really fun i do this not so much for like fame or to get noticed or to blow up or anything like that. Even if I had no one watching my videos, I'd probably still make them just because I find it so fun to make them. I love makeup, I love talking about makeup and I love doing makeup and teaching everyone makeup and even though I'm not like the crazy best, you know, with all these fucking insane cut creases and shit, I mean, I love doing it and I feel like that's all that really matters when it comes to makeup and things like that. As long as you're passionate about what you're doing, then you should be able to do what you do. Um, I don't know why I'm getting like weird and sappy, so I'm gonna end this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If there's any other videos that you want me to do or anything like that, comment below. And thank you guys again for watching. Again, I apologize for not posting for so long, but I am going to try and keep up with that more often now. So thank you guys so much. I love y'all and I will see y'all later. Bye.